All right, so what I do is I go to graphics. You want to turn off on-demand streaming, turn off all the motion blur, um, turn off film grain, turn off depth of field, turn on fidelity cast and put it on 100. If you have a 120 hertz monitor, put 120 hertz on. I play on 103 FOV again. Turn off camera movement to 50%. Uh, the best audio for consoles, you go to, of course, audio. You put it on soundbar. Soundbar has the best um, frequencies for footstep audio. With that, and then controller settings, I use one left stick min, uh, two right stick min, 65 on a left stick max because it actually activates your aim assist earlier and then 99 on your right stick and 00 on the um l2 and r2 seven seven cents one ads dynamic response curve and then i use instant for um sensitivity transition timing and then black ops aim assist and make sure fov sensitivity scaling is turned off i turn off automatic tax sprint i don't like automatic tax sprint i use single tap run I turn off ground mantle, all the mantles right here, I turn all three of these off and then I put on hybrid and then I use prioritize interact. Here's my color settings. I use default and then I use, uh, oh wow, this is actually wrong, which is why it looked like crap yesterday. So you put on filter two and you put them both on hundred. I think other than that in my console settings itself, you go to settings, you go to, I believe it's um, save data and game, go down to Game presets, put it underneath performance mode. And then on accessories, make sure you have Bluetooth on because the actual, the best response time from the controllers on PlayStation are actually not from wired controllers, which makes zero sense. It's through Bluetooth. So on communication method, make sure you put it on Bluetooth instead of the cord. I don't know why, unless you have a DualSense Edge controller, use Bluetooth. And another thing in the game too, that uh, it helps with PlayStation. If you go to, I believe, See the interface? No, it's not interface. Account and network. You go down to uh, just memory mint and gore effects. Turn that off because it will um, help your FPS also. And those are the best PS5 settings in the actual settings itself and in game.